What's up, guys? It's 2022 again with a missing 411 story. Yep. It's something I forgot to say last video. I mean, if you guys have any information, I mean, of course, you know, the logic thing is to contact the authorities and uh, maybe you guys can help resolve a cold case. Yep, exactly. All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about Kevin Robert O'Keefe. He went missing on 10-8. 1985 on Wool Point Glacier Bay National Park, Alaska. Yep, that's right. Age of disappearance, he was 36 years old. Glacier Bay National Park is approximately 70 miles northwest of Juno. The park sits in an extremely wild and remote area where the Pacific Ocean forms a series of small two large inlets from a wide inlet going north from the region of Funter Bay State Marine Park. Kevin traveled from his home in Sacramento, California and arrived in Juno on or near September 20th, eventually flying on the Glacier Park headquarters. He enrolled and attended a class about living in the wild of the park. On September 22nd, he was flown by float plane into, into Muir Inlet, just north of Wolf Point, where he established camp. He was traveling alone. On October 8th, 1985, National Park Ranger David Nemeth and his partner were patrolling the region of Wolf, Wolf Point by boat. When they stopped at Kevin's campsite, rangers found a disturbing sight. Kevin's tent was near the high tide line, and this is where they also found a line of debris that appeared to be stoned by the high water mark. The rangers made special mention in his report about the tent having one pole inside that had came down. They found his sleeping bag, foam pad, and other items outside the tent. Lying on the ground, rangers knew that Kevin was supposed to be picked up on October 10th and decided to leave his camp untouched. What do you think about it so far? Mm, well, he went by himself, right? Yep. So, That's right. I mean, if you're going to go camping, I mean, I don't know if you, he told somebody or not, but... Actually, I know it was 1985, but today is actually the 8th of September, which actually yesterday, and I don't want to give it publicity, but yesterday the iPhone 14 was announced, <laughs> and it actually it has, has satellite, something called satellite, uh, what is it called? Like satellite uh, cellular, um, it, it, it like... Uh, right now, a satellite phone costs like anywhere like yeah, two hundred. Which I didn't know. Dollars. I didn't know. So my brother showed me that, and I was actually, I'm actually impressed that it has that. But I mean, if he had that back then, well, he wouldn't exactly. have to. Probably this wouldn't even have been a story. Exactly. Yep. So I mean, and then you know, the Rangers found his. Kind of strange that the Rangers found his uh, camp, but they knew. Kevin was supposed to be picked up on October 10th and decided to leave his camp untouched. Yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> like all these, I mean, there's always some mystery surrounding all these uh, disappearances, but yeah. that just leaves a lot of questions, you know, unanswered. Exactly. Okay, so let's continue. From reviewing National Park Service reports, which were obtained through a Freedom of Information Act request, it appeared that there was concern. Rangers went back to the camp the next day, but this time four rangers went. They found the camp was just as it had been the previous day, and it did not appear as though anyone had used it during the night. The NPS did not conduct any searches, but they did call for Kevin and didn't get any response. On October 10th, rangers again returned to the additional assistance with the additional assistance of an airplane a Cessna 206 on floats 
Rangers conduct a two-hour flight over the area, looking for Kevin, but they could not locate him. On October 17, 1985, the Anchorage Daily published an article describing what NPS Rangers found at Kevin's campsite. Begin quote, aided by search dogs, they found his boots and a hat half a mile away, down in a gully, out of sight of the main camp. They found his food and catches too, but they never found any sign of the 36-year-old tourist." End quote. Later in the same article, Rangers speculated about what may have happened to Kevin. Start quote, what happened to Kevin O'Keefe may never be known. Rangers have rejected early speculation he was eating by bears. End quote. The ranger stated that there were no bear tracks anywhere in the area of Kevin's camp and even aided, quote, almost no wildlife of any kind, unquote. A review of the NPS report and itemization of Kevin's property indicates items were located at intervals of 60, 120, and 200 to 300 feet from his tent, and that his books and knit hat were found in a gully. It appears that everything that Kevin needed to survive was at his camp. He has survival books and pamphlets, film, food, a toothbrush, soap, cigarettes, vitamin C, a compass, a flashlight, and other sorted items that you'd expect to find in a campsite where someone was staying for over a month. Okay, so that's it for the story of Kevin Robert O'Keefe. Uh, final thoughts, bro. Well, you know what, bro? He might have even just... Now that they say that they found books yeah. of... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Survival books. Vitamin C. No, 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 no. no. Just this. Yeah. He probably, like... He knew what he was going to do, bro. Yeah, like, but you know I what mean... I'm saying? Like, he was like, well, you know what? I want to see if I can survive. Yeah, but I mean, why haven't they never found him? He, he probably couldn't, bro. Oh, you're talking <laughs> about, like... You're talking about like uh, like it was a challenge to him. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, like yes, like yes, he yes, like okay, yes. well I want to see if I can survive. Yeah, I got you. Oh, I, I mean I, I'm not gonna tell anybody where I'm at and yes, stuff like that. And like yes. he took that risk. You I know what I'm saying? You. I uh, hear you. To me personally, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you tell somebody, hey, bro, like say I'm telling you, hey, bro, I'm gonna go camp and you know I just want to get lost and and see if my, how my survival skills are. What would you say? Nah, don't do that. You know. Yeah. Like, you need to tell uh, uh, us where you are at all times and stuff, you know? Like, I'm thinking that he thought that they wouldn't agree with him, so he's like, you know what? Yeah. I'm just going to act like and, I'm going and, to camp. And, and some people are stubborn. Yeah, bro. And, and uh, hey, he took that risk, and his, his body pile never been found because of that. Yeah, true. He took the risk, and he didn't make it up. Yep. That's what I think, because why would he have survival books? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. I agree. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to tune in. Me and my brother are going to try to upload uh, every week, maybe even twice a week. But it's in the next few weeks, it's probably going to be hard because we got stuff going on. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the other one. Uh, any thoughts, comments, put them down below. Any story suggestions, put them down below. Uh, see you guys on the next one.